Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an edit your profile link that allows users to edit their profiles from the front end of your website. So this will work really well if you're using the Gravity Forms user registration add-on to register new users for your website, uh, and you want to allow them to edit their profiles from the front end. It will also work really well if you're running a directory using Gravity View and you just want to add an edit your profile link somewhere on the page, like uh, on the sidebar or in the footer. Uh, and then that will take users directly to the edit entry page. So here's how it works. As you can see, I've got a sidebar here with a little button, um, edit your profile. But before I click on that, here's the directory that I have set up uh, on the left here. So it's a staff profiles directory, as you can see. So if we head back to the home page, uh, we can click on the edit your profile link. And as you can see, it takes us directly through to the edit entry screen, um, where we can actually make changes to our profile on the front end. And if we click update, that will, um, that will save our changes. So that's how it works. That's what we're going to build in this tutorial. Um, the link itself is actually a view. Um, so I'll show you how that works in a minute. And for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have a directory up and running. Uh, if you don't have one yet, uh, and if you're looking to build a directory, check out the video description. There's a link there that'll take you to a blog post, um, which has an in-depth tutorial guiding you through how to build a directory with Gravity View and Gravity Forms. Okay, so the edit your profile link itself is actually a view. So to start off, we'll create a new view by hovering over views and selecting new view. So we'll give it a name, something like uh, edit your profile link. And then we'll choose the data source and the data source should be the same as our main directory view. So in this case, I'll choose the gravity view staff profiles form. And then we'll choose list as the layout type. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here on the multiple entries layout is just to remove all the widgets. So you can just click on the X icon just to get rid of those. Um, and there's one down the bottom that we'll take out as well. And now we're gonna um, just scroll scroll up to the other fields section and we'll we're gonna add a custom content field here. It's the only field we're going to need. So we'll select that. And um, we'll open the custom content settings here by clicking on the gear icon. And here we've got the custom content text editor. And we're going to construct our link in here. So we'll paste in the GV entry link shortcode. And this will allows us to create a link that takes the user straight to the edit entry page. So as you can see, we've set the action to edit. And then we've got two other parameters here. We've got the view ID and the post ID. Now the view ID is the ID of our main directory view, not this view. The post ID is the ID of the page where that view is embedded. Okay. And then we've got the text here and that will be our anchor text. Okay, great. So we'll save that. And we'll scroll down here. Uh, we need to do one more thing, which is just to come to the view settings, uh, click on the filter and sort tab. And then under advanced filter, we're going to add a condition. And the condition we're going to add is created by is currently logged in user. So those two will stay the same. And uh, this will ensure that the edit profile link that is displayed will take the user through to their own profile um, and it won't display for, for anyone else's. Okay, great. So when we're done, we can scroll up and click publish. Okay, great. So now that our link is set up and ready, we're going to embed it in our sidebar. So to do that, we're going to use the gravity view embed shortcode. So you're going to want to copy that. And then we'll head over to the sidebar by hovering over appearance and clicking on widgets. 
Now your sidebar layout might be a bit different depending on the theme that you're using, um, but uh, the process will remain the same. So what we'll do is we'll click on this plus button here and we'll select the login widget that comes with the Gravity, Gravity Forms user registration add-on. So there it is, we'll drag it into our sidebar. That will allow us to display a nice welcome message and a link to log out as well. So the next thing we need is a shortcode um, block. We'll drag that underneath the login widget. There we go. And then inside the shortcode, shortcode block, we're going to paste the shortcode. So it's the Gravity View Embed shortcode, but it's going to be wrapped in the members login shortcode. So this will hide the link for anyone who isn't logged in. So only logged in users will be able to see it, which is what we want. So now that we're done, we can just click update. Okay, great. So here we are on the front end of our website. As you can see, we've got our login widget here and an edit your profile button. Now I've done a little bit of custom styling on this link to get it to look like that. Um, if you want to see how that's done, you can uh, check out the link below. There's a link in the description to a blog post with a full tutorial. Um, so yeah, if I click on that link, as you can see, it takes me straight through to the edit entry page where I can make changes to my profile here from the front end.